morning guys I got a uh, an email from Charlie Walters from New York that I wanted to share with y'all uh, he says uh, hi Dave just wanted to drop you a quick note on my completed CNC build my total cost was about two thousand dollars that included purchasing Mach 3 photo V car V car pro software I modified your plans to give me a bigger work area. I had to recalculate a lot of measurements and spent about three weeks putting this together, but it was well worth the time and effort. I also changed the x-axis to work off just one motor centered under the table rather than mounted to the side. I work out of my one car garage, so I put it on a portable stand to roll over my saw when not being used. I just got done running it through all the tests and let me tell you this thing runs so smooth. This thing is built like the rock of Gibraltar and is extremely accurate. I plan on getting lots of mileage out of it. Uh, thanks Charlie for sending me this email and also for including the photos and I wanted to uh, in this video I wanted to show you the photos of Charlie's build and make some comments about it. Uh, the main reason I, I wanted to do this is because uh, Charlie here took took the uh, the plans and just kind of made some design changes and made it his own so I wanted to share those with you and, and also to show you that uh, you don't have to get fancy when building one of these you can keep it simple and still have a great machine so with that being said let's get on to the photos okay so in this first picture you see the uh, Charlie CNC build he's got it in his uh, one car garage looks like and you can see how he's just built just a simple uh, frame and it looks like it's on casters there and he's got it pushed over to the side out of the way. It looks like it's uh, straddling his uh, table saw there maybe. I guess that's uh, looks like a table saw. And uh, But one of the things I want you to notice is just the clean construction on it. Uh, you know, you can look and see that there's no fancy curves. He didn't worry about trying to make everything look really pretty. He just kept it basic and kept his whole locations uh, accurate. On this next photo, this is one showing the uh, the back and you can see where he's modified the plants and uh, made a bracket to hold uh, the stepper motor right in the center. Um, so he can run a single lead screw uh, to move the gantry back and forth. And here's a shot from uh, the other direction. Again, you can see it looks like he's straddling his, uh, he's got his table saw um, up underneath this thing. But you can see the single lead screw. He's got his uh, Acme lead nut there in that bar going across. Um, and again, very, very clean construction. Didn't worry about rounding corners off or anything like that. Just kept it simple. Here's another great shot showing the uh, the z-axis plate and again this is what I really like about this he just kept it simple everything squared off didn't worry about rounding it off trying to make it look pretty uh, which you know as I said in one of my early videos when I was showing it uh, the CNC build you don't really have to get fancy all you need to do is get it as accurate as possible on the whole locations the profile of those parts really doesn't make a flip one way or the other uh, Okay, and then finally, here's a, a final shot, and again, you can see the, uh, you know, everything's just kind of squared off, keeping it simple, and it uh, looks like it's working out really good for him. So, uh, just wanted to share those photos with you, and I hope you enjoyed looking at them. Okay, so thanks again to Charlie Walters in New York for sending me those great photos. Uh, thanks for sharing those, Charlie. And hopefully uh, some of you who are kind of sitting on the fence about whether you want to do a CNC build or maybe you want to, but you're not sure if you can uh, handle this kind of project. I hope that you've seen from these photos and, and my comments that, uh, you know, you really don't have to get fancy with it. You can keep it simple and still build a great CNC machine. So uh, hopefully that will inspire some of you that are kind of sitting on the fence and uh, you get, get going and get to building one of these. So. Anyway, thanks again, Charlie, for sending those in. Thanks for all my new subscribers. I uh, continue to get lots of uh, new subscribers every day. I really appreciate that. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, uh, just click the su 
subscribe uh, button down below. If you like the videos that you're seeing, please hit the like button down below as well. And uh, just keep uh, coming back and watching for more uh, upcoming videos. So thanks again, everybody.